How's it going everyone? John here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the video producer and collections here on Twitch. So to do this, you're going to sign in, you're going to click on the drop down here over on the right. You're going to go to your video producer or you can go to dashboard, but we're going to go video producer. And this is going to bring you right here where you can upload videos that you had made from your editing software or anything like that, that you kind of like put a montage together or anything and you can upload those here. So if you want to upload all your videos first, that'd be a good way to do it because it will take a little bit of time for stuff to process. So once everything's processed, then we can start putting stuff into collections. Now, when we go to collections tab, collections tab is basically going to be like playlists. So you can create a playlist by going up to the title here. It says collection name. So we're going to say Twitch test click on create and this is going to be where you can add the description you can play all videos you can add a video you can share it or you can delete the playlist or collection i keep saying playlist but it's collections <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a video so click on add video this is going to allow you to then select any of the videos that you just uploaded or have had uploaded previously or clips or anything like that so we're just going to click on this first one here and now we're going to see that it's already added in so there's some things on here very simple on the left hand side, you have these eight dots. I believe that's eight, maybe that's 10, I can't count. It's eight, yeah. <laughs> I literally just counted that. Um, so yeah, we have, we have eight over here. Basically this allows us to move the clip around if we have multiple ones inside of the collection. Then you can see how many people have watched it and then you can also click on the three dots over on the right hand side and you can set it as a collection thumbnail or you can remove it from the collection. So we're gonna go ahead and hit collection or all collections. And this will allow us to then come back. You can see that there's no thumbnail yet, but if you hit F5 or if you just refresh your page, then you'll be able to see it. You'll be able to see the count of how many videos are inside of that particular collection. If you go over to the right, you'll see the duration of that collection, how many views you have. And then if you click on the three dots, you can edit or delete it. So if we go back to the video producer, there's some other things here too. On the video producer, you have the ability of doing some more actions. So if you go to one of the videos and you click on the three dots to the right, you're gonna see the ability to edit, add to, download, highlight, watch, export, and delete. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to want to add to. We're gonna to add to a collection. And what we can do here is we can do two things at the same time. You can create a brand new collection or you can add multiple videos to a collection that's already existing. Okay, so we can do three things because <laughs> then you can also add the video to the new collection that you created at the same time. So there's three things. Um, so basically I'm gonna say test two and I'm going to add that. So now we have test two and then we have the Twitch test number one and we're gonna go back to collections. We're gonna hit F5 and bam, now we have both of them. We have both videos, both collections, all done in one spot. Go back to video producer and you can do the same thing again. So you can, you can do the method I did where I created the collection second or you can create the collection first and then upload the videos. But you have to have the videos here in order to be able to add them. But that's pretty much it. It's pretty self-explanatory. The only downside is there's no search engine optimization. There's no tags. So it's not very similar to how YouTube allows you to search for these type of things. But if you want to ever go see a type of streamer and see what type of videos or clips they have, they might have it organized and stored like this. So it's still good to have. It's still good to do. But if you guys have any questions or if I missed anything, please let me know in the comment section below. Hopefully this was helpful. If you're new to the channel, Take a look around, see the different type of content that I create. I do a lot of streaming tutorials and helping you guys out with streaming, both technical and growth and everything like that. But if there's a video you guys do want to see, let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe. But I'll see you guys in a future video. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and keep being awesome.